Hey everybody, so this is a brief introduction to the Dr. Racket IDE. Um, I'm right here at the racketlang.org website where you can find pretty much everything you need to know about Racket. Um, down here is like a bunch of text, how to design programs, everything you need, uh, documentation, and the download link. So up here, you have the download link, you can download Racket, and depending on what platform you're using, you just click on that and then click the download link. If you've opened Dr. Racket, the first thing you'll have to do is choose a language. If you go to the bottom left and hit choose language, there are a lot of languages to choose from, but for today I'm going to choose beginning student. Hit OK and hit run. Alright, we have two different windows in Dr. Racket. The top window is the definitions window. This is where you write your code, save your program, and when you open your program again, all your code will appear at the top. Down here is what we call the interactions window. This is where you can test your code and where the output of your program will appear. This window is also more formally known as the REPL. Up in the top right, we have the run button, which runs your program, the stop button, if you need to stop it, and some tools that help you check your syntax and step through the evaluation process of your program. Up in the top left, we have a save button to save your program, a list of all your definitions in your program, and the name of the file of your program. Up here in the top left, you can save and open files, edit your current files, and change the way you view Dr. Racket. All of these options can also be found in the preferences. Here in the preferences, you can change a lot about Dr. Racket. You can change font size, change the color scheme, and do some general editing. For example, you can like show line numbers at a maximum character width guide, which can be super helpful to change the amount. So make it 72, for example. All these options can be really helpful when you code. Here you can choose another language, insert some comment boxes, images, whatever you need. And over here, you can access the Racket documentation. All right, so if we write something like hello world in double quotes in the definitions window and hit run it will appear at the top of the REPL similarly if we call function for example string append with hello world split up it will run this function and print the evaluation at the top of the REPL a little differently if we define message to be hello world. When we click run, we will not see it in the REPL until we call it. You can run all sorts of code in the REPL and get the result, but once you hit run, you lose all the interactions you had before. So make sure to always save your code in the definitions window and save often. All right, that's all I wanted to share for today. I hope that helped anybody navigate their way around the Dr. Racket IDE. Until next time.